morning guys I just wanted to jump on here and film a really quick video to show you how to make a um, loaded pocket I'm not going to show you how to load the pocket and how to do all the fillings and, and embellishments because you can all do that yourself but I just wanted to share you this hack that I just discovered one day when I didn't have a pair of scissors handy so um, yeah I just discovered this hack where you can make a loaded envelope out of one 12 by 12 pattern paper without the need for scissors so there's a couple here for me to show you I've got this one that's uh, I started loading um, and decorating as well but it's not quite in its finished state so all the ones you see here were made out of the carousel 12 by 12 papers and um, yeah I'm going to decorate these more the main reason why I'm filming this video is um, my friend Liz and I run a Facebook page called the Maggie Holmes um, craft and swap page and we organize bi-monthly swaps and the upcoming swap is actually a loaded envelope slash loaded pocket and I promised the group that I would film a quick tutorial on how to make a loaded pocket so yep I'll be posting this video there and I'll add a link below this video to take you to that Facebook page um, I still haven't got my voice back and I've also got my little one and a half year old in the room accompanying me so she's probably going to be quite noisy through the video <laughs> so here are um, a couple of close-ups of the envelopes pre-loading um, and you'll see there's a lot of bit of there's a lot of flaps and things going on but um, I'm not you know don't, don't be too concerned about these because you're eventually gonna decorate the front of these um, with whatever embellishments you have in hand and um, I've actually seen people also stick shaker or tulle sequence shaker designs at the front here to cover whatever pattern may be and that looks like that and there's actually multiple ways to fill this pocket in this particular design that I made um, you can fill the main pocket in here and you can also fill the mini pocket out the front but if you were to fill that pocket, I'd suggest you actually seal this part with a bit of glue or double-sided sticky tape, which I haven't done. And just a few more different looks there. So, yeah, they turned out pretty cool. And I will show you very quickly how you can make these loaded pockets. With one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, no scissors needed. So, here's my 12 by 12. Again, I've taken a sheet from the carousel paper pad. Um, you could probably do a mini version if you want to make it out of a, a 6x6 and then you'll probably end up with a pocket something like, I don't know, 2 inches by 3 inches. Um, but I've only experimented with a 12x12 and it's turned out um, pretty cool. Okay, so promise no scissors needed. You'll turn your paper upside down. Now, I'm the kind of eyeballer, uh, sorry, eyeballer, I'm the kind of crafter that just likes to eyeball everything. I rarely use rulers or measuring tapes, so there's no exact measuring in, in my crafting. I'm, I'm an engineer by day. Um, I work as a senior advisor at the moment to the infrastructure industry, and measurement and exacting is what I do all day so when I craft I like to leave those principles behind and just go free <laughs> so I'm a free range crafter I don't do any measurements so and this little project is perfect for anyone else who like me doesn't like to use rulers and measuring tapes when they craft so we're gonna eyeball it but we can use one that I've already made as a guide so the first thing we're gonna do is Fold a flap over, okay, and I'm just going to use my 
bone folder. Hi, what's up? Queen, that's sunscreen, sweetheart. We don't, we don't need sunscreen right now. Here you go, I'll pop a little bit of sunscreen on your cheeks. Okay? <laughs> Come on. Sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is fold that over. You want to open. All right, there we go, sweetie. Sorry, I think I'm going to get constantly interrupted throughout this video. Yep, so all we did was fold that flap over. And then this side, all we're going to do is measure, well, when I say measure, I mean eyeball, um, an overlap that's approximately one to two centimeters. So probably that much overlap from this line, from the edge to where the fold is going to come over. And that just means that if you're going to use double-sided sticky tape, you've left enough width for that tape to go to go on. Okay. Go ahead, give that a fold. Okay, now I specifically chose a pattern paper where there is clearly an upwards and a downwards. So you can see these hot air balloons um, are facing the right way up and in that scenario be obviously facing the wrong way down. So um, I did that because I wanted to show you how you might end up with a loaded pocket like this one where the front of the pocket will be upside down but you won't really notice because you're going to cover it with all your decorations. Oh Baba. Okay, so all we do, turn that around. Oh, I haven't got the glue on me, but normally what you would now do is actually sticky tape that down, double-sided sticky tape that down or glue that down. And don't use hot glue, okay? You're gonna wanna use double-sided sticky tape or ordinary craft glue because you want that to remain fairly flat. Just make sure you choose something really, really strong. Turn that over. Fold this up. This is a guide, roughly there. Sorry, I didn't actually bring any glue with me upstairs, so I was unable to film this with all the adhesives. But um, at this point, all we would have done is glue that piece over, which continues all the way here, and that's it. <laughs> now, how you actually start pulling this together, um, I won't show you that because that's pink on pink, but what I did was actually whip out my sewing machine and I did a wonky stitch two times over and I literally, I did no gluing, I just stitched, started there, went all the way down over here, continued up and I did it twice. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see, but there's the stitching detail. I find stitching just adds a little bit of interest to your projects, so I ditched the glue. Um, but if you wanted to use glue instead of your sewing machine, or you don't have a sewing machine, then at this point you would just apply a thin strip of glue on this side and this side and press it down. You'd probably, well, actually, this design is based on like a treat bag. So you could probably leave this part open and actually load in there as well. So then you actually have three pockets to load. You can load that. You can then load the new pocket that you created and you can load this pocket in here. So it's entirely up to you. If you don't want it to be so dimensional, you would just stitch or glue that up and end up with something like this. So that's it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope this was reasonably helpful, it's good for people like me who forget stuff and might not have a pair of scissors around when they're crafting. And what kind of crafter actually crafts without scissors? Yep, that's me. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me know if you guys give this a try and show me pickies and if anyone ends up trying it with a smaller like a six by six square piece of paper 
let me know um, how your little pockets turned out. For now, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all next time. See ya!